welcome back to my film and TV channel. I hope you all stay safe and well. I'm, yes, a bit different. Occasionally I do them. We do docudramas, of course, uh, do the films and TV. But I'm just going to do a straightforward uh, documentary today. So we do do them from time to time. I just read up on it in uh, uh, film magazine, Total Film magazine that I subscribed to. So I thought I'd give it a watch and uh, get back to you. I think this is out on Blu-ray, DVD uh, from various sources. But uh, worth a little watch. Anyway, today we're going to have a look at uh, Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares. Yes, plenty of those. Uh, the Robert England story. There we go, Robert England. So we're going to have a look at that today. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything. Film and TV, of course. Uh, documentaries like this, film reviews, information, vlogs, TV, series reviews, etc. etc. So uh, great to have you on board. Leave us your comments about Robert or anything to do with film and TV. Yeah, uh, bit of a bit of an icon, isn't he? Let's be, let's be honest about it. You can do that. And if you've got a little moment, just to give us a thumbs up, guys. Just to spare as a like, it's much appreciated. Yes, it's a 15 certificate, probably, I don't know, some probably because of some of the special effects in it, but I think it's a bit bit over the top of 15 rating. Over two hours, we'll talk about the length of it in a minute, 134 minutes. And of course, it's about Robert Englund it's, uh, uh, and the synopsis on it. So it's about a classically trained actor and director. I think they, most of them have to go through sort of some sort of classical bedding, don't they? Uh, certainly in the older days, perhaps not so much now. Uh, Robert Englund has become one of the most revolutionary horror icons of our generation. Throughout his career, England starred in many well-known movies, but shot to superstardom. He certainly did with his portrayal of supernatural serial killer Freddy Krueger. Great stuff can't sleep for weeks, uh, with his portrayal of supernatural serial killer Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. This unique and intimate portrait captures the man behind the glove and features interviews with Eng England, England, England and his wife Nancy, Lynn Shea, Eli Roth, Tony Todd, Heather Longen, Camp and more. Yeah, you've got well, anyone else? Miko Hughes, Lance Erickson, uh, Amanda Weiss, Monica Keener, Adam Green, and of course uh, we've mentioned Nancy, haven't we? He's, uh, he's I think, 30, 30 years, as I'm recording this, been together 30 years plus. That's not bad going, is it, in Hollywood? So they all start talking about Robert, and of course Robert talks about himself, uh, which uh, is part and past probably about 40% of what we see, which is fair enough, uh, some interesting stuff. Uh, Review-wise, yes, doing okay. On Rotten Tomatoes, only 15 people have bothered to leave a score. 15 critics, 87% positivity. 13 fresh and 2 negative, so not, not a total uh, agreement on it. 7.3 out of 10 average. Internet Movie Database, 7.7 .7 out of 10. So this is well liked. So just over 250 scores and reviews. Oh, this is at the, the 10th of October 2023. So not a vast range. And Rotten Tomatoes audience themselves are giving it 4.7 out of 5. So that's not too bad, is it? I'm not going to go as mad on this. I quite enjoyed it. It's a good documentary, uh, for, of course, for Robert England fans and horror fans in general, of course it is. And as a kid, uh, the stills from horror films in my parents' magazines, I don't know what magazines they were, were always my favourite to look at and staying up at night to watch Hammer horror films when I was 11, 12, 13 years old. Even on a school night, uh, was a must for me. So always, even though I love all films, horror, it's always had a little bit of a special place uh, in my heart, should I say. Yeah, but why not? And my youngest, my, my baby, if you like, used to love horror films. I'm talking about at a young age as well. I did have a video shop, as some of you may know uh, myself. But uh, she, she, the original Nightmare on Elm Street, of course, like like many of us, disturbed her more than anything. Uh, she, she coped every, she coped really well. I didn't want her to watch it, but I think she might have snuck a watch without me being around, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it did uh, did affect her, unlike, and I say, nothing else did. Uh, just because she would lap up horrors from quite a tender age. And I have to say, apart from The Exorcist, it was one of the scariest for me as an adult as well. I mean, I saw The Exorcist when I was probably about 16, 15, 16 originally. Uh, got into an 18, of course. I had to uh, sort of put a little black mark on my moustache, try and make my moustache a bit uh, thing. I'm, I was never a, an old-looking lad, but uh, I somehow got in. Lots of people didn't get in to see The Exorcist. But as I say, Nightmare on Elm Street, when I watched that in the 80s, was, uh, 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 yeah, really affected me as well. Scared, scared me a little bit, I must admit. 
Of course, England is Freddie's iconic, but so many other roles, as we know. I said, having a video shop, I've got, I had lots of posters like The Mangler and stuff like this uh, that he appeared in. Uh, and of course, I've seen most of those older ones. But a couple of the new ones he mentions, probably four or five there that I've not uh, watched yet. So I'll be checking them out because I've watched this documentary and know, know about them now. It's easy, isn't it? If you want to watch Robert England, just put his filmography up and have a look. Uh, I like the story more, perhaps, of his early life. Now he's sort of gone on, how he's... How he went to college and how he did various things drama school etc etc and i probably like the early elements more than than the, the later thing but that's that's a personal preference for me he appears like a decent guy um yeah uh, an actor on obviously you saw a lot of his where well, he's actually um on these horror sort of horror weekends and horror shows and these uh obviously that are worldwide aren't they all over the place and he seems a decent bloke as I say based on what we can see and when people are interviewed you can usually gauge it can't you so he seems a decent fun guy I wouldn't mind just a little bit more of course he's about Robert Englund but perhaps behind the scenes effect stuff uh, on his preparation and stuff like that but it's uh, it doesn't go too deeply into that but it's an okay documentary um, apart from uh, the films, I don't know too much about him, so that made it a little bit more interesting for me, as I say, certainly his early life. And I watched this in a couple of chunks as well, as a, as a perhaps a serial, as a series, perhaps in two or three chunks is better than a one-off binge watch for me. Uh, I just thought it sort of, uh, I'd say it was interesting, but it, it wore a little bit thin, you know, for just over two hours, so it may be better watched in a certain couple, couple of hours, so have a break and watch, watch more of it, that's how I did that's how I did it my scores yeah I'd have to be fresh on it I'd have to be positive on Metacritic I'd have to be fresh on Rotten Tomatoes I'm not going to go mad I'm not as high as the other people I'm just going to give this a watchable score as I said I would like to a bit more a bit more depth but it's okay for what it is it's uh, it's not a life story as such you could probably make a life story out of his life uh, that's for sure and, and serialise it probably but uh, yeah it was it was okay so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 which is just my watchable score and uh, I say for a documentary uh, I quite enjoyed it and it was fine and I say I learned as long as you learn something from it, that's alright isn't it and I learned that there's a 3 or 4 films out there I want to watch that I've not seen yet but uh, that's, that's my problem isn't it let me know what you think guys you know great to hear from you to me again that's one thing don't have please stay safe everyone